Doing a quick little video tutorial on how we do our Zelda belt buckles from Breath of the Wild. So we've cast up our belt buckle in smooth cast. Got it primed up, ready to go. These are the colors we're going to be using. Uh, the blues are for the inside little Triforce symbol and then the gold and the chrome are for the actual gold area around the Triforce. So when you get back, I'll show you the uh, next step. Just finished the first step. Airbrushed the blue in. So again, that was the uh, just Vallejo model air blue. Uh, you don't have to be careful about where it goes. Just get it in there nice and solid. The cracks can be a little bit difficult uh, whenever you have a uh, concave surface. It likes to kind of push the air out of the out of the shape. So. Make sure you get into the corner. You can see that corner there's a little light. That won't matter. We're going to ink it in a little bit. So, next step. All right, just got the magic blue on. So, put that in the airbrush, then down 50 50 with uh, some of the airbrush thinner from Vallejo. Really good stuff. I just put it right in the airbrush and then mix them up with a small, crappy synthetic brush. So, again, that's 50 50. And then we're going to do electric blue next. All right, now that the electric blue is done, we're going to put these little mask pieces into the mold, not mold, uh, object, so we can paint the gold without getting the blue all messed up. We were doing this with a uh, liquid latex to start with and then we discovered that the uh, the rubber that we use to cast these things could just be put right back on top of the object and then we could use that to kind of seal the object so we can paint our gold without messing up all the blue. We still go back and have to detail the inside part uh, but this this speeds up the process tremendously uh, so if you got access to uh, casting rubber uh, you can use it as a mask on uh, objects that you're going to be painting a lot. Alright, just finished the gold, so let's see how the mask worked. And there we go. So easy to drop in masking. Way better than trying to paint all of this by hand. And then this gold paint won't stick to the silicone, so you can just wash those off. So you don't worry about getting gold down in and contaminating your... Uh, your object <laughs> got a little bit of a fiber <laughs> yeah that'll come out and get the brush there we go thought it was a scratch for a second but no not a scratch but yeah I'm gonna put those back in real quick I gotta do the silver layer next but that was done with the uh, glorious gold from game air coats really well so now here is the puck with the chrome added. Gives it a little bit of surface punch. Gives those shapes some more contour. Um, but then I'm gonna go back in and finish these inside edge uh, with the uh, glorious gold and then drop some blue ink down in there. So see you when I've finished the edge. Okay, gone in and added the gold down in the edges so to clean that up a little bit we're going to take some blue ink and we're going to drop it in the little edges for that i like to use a liner so this has a really long bristle on it to act kind of like a fountain pen while it's holding it there we go it is a synthetic brush, which will last longer when you use them with inks and washes. Uh, but yeah, try these things out. I know you'll love them. And by far the longest step, but once everything is cut in, gives you a lot cleaner edge than having just the blue right up next to the uh, Triforce symbol. Um, last thing that we're gonna do well, not last, we still got a few more steps, but this is the last painting step. Um, we're going to take the chrome 
and do a little bit of edging here on these hard edges and then add kind of a point highlight on what we deem to be our top edge of the uh, buckle. Um, well, not the last paint. We still got to finish the back, so we take an enamel and put it on the back, but uh, all right. We're back. I added a few spot highlights there, a little bit of edging. Real subtle, but makes a huge difference when you're viewing it from afar. All right, I am going to clear coat this with the Ultra Coverage Rust-Oleum. This guy. Um, let that dry. Take it off. The uh, this is actually a spray cap top with some sticky tack to hold it in place, so I don't have to. I can touch it. Um, yeah, once that dries, I'm gonna take some uh, flat black enamel. Which is this stuff, it's like 50 cents a can at Lowe's. Works really good for sealing stuff in. Uh, and then we'll drill some holes and put a bracket for mounting on the back. All right, gloss is cured, nice and shiny. Time to spray the enamel on the back. All right, last thing to do is to put the hardware <laughs> onto the back of the, uh, the puck. I call them pucks, short. Um, so we find our top edge, which is here. We're gonna take this and line it up to the back. This is a cell phone clip uh, that we ordered off of Amazon. Uh, it comes with screws. Um, you get a few of them in a pack. And the other thing to do is to make sure when you drill is to mark on the bit your depth for the screw so you don't go too far. You don't need to go all the way through the piece either but if you can keep it exact then you can keep from doing that going through all the way through um, and then once we drill them they'll thread themselves into the uh, resin and that is it got a finished Zelda buckle with the uh, clip on the back it's a nice firm hold on that so it won't slip off um, Again, we, we sell these unfinished uh, with the hardware um, and then fully painted with the hardware. Um, another shot of the, there's a drill bit and a little hand screw. You don't need to, they'll use a power drill to put those screws in because you'll strip out the, the end of the, the screw. The threads will just eat up the resin, so just hand tighten it down. Um, also, when you're working with finished stuff, I always save these little shipping foam pads that come in. They're nice to, to work on, so you can you can be rough with your part, but you don't have to worry about scratching any of the paint off because, you know, when you're working with stuff, it needs time to dry, and this guy's still a little bit tacky, but he's finished and will be on his way to a client soon. And I know Emmy's working on another piece of the cosplay over here. So we have new materials we're experimenting with and some old ex materials we're experimenting with. So that will be coming soon.